Hi there, I'm Nabil Murad. In this training video, I'll be talking about logical functions. A logical function in Excel is defined as a function that returns either a true or false, or we can define it in a different way by saying it's a function that uses a comparison operator. In this special example I have in column J, I have a list of employee names. And then in columns K, L, M, N, I do have the quarterly sales for each one of the employees. Our project consists of two parts. Part number one is to calculate the total sales for each employee. Part number two is to compare the total sales for each employee coming from column O to a sales goal in cell K1. If the employee hits the sales goal, then we'll be giving that employee a 2% commission. If the employee does not hit the sales goal, we need to return a text message saying, you need training. We have so many ways of performing the addition. I'll start by selecting the entire range in column O. And then I want to add up all the numbers coming from columns K, L, M, N at the same row. And I'll be using the autosum function to do this. So if I give a click to the auto sum, I would have calculated everything. We know that in Excel, whenever we see this set of number signs, it simply means that this column contains either a number or a date, and we know that a date is a number, and the column is not wide enough. So all what we need to do is to expand the column a little bit, and we'll be able to see the numbers. My next step is to evaluate the total sales for each employee. And I start by selecting the entire column where I'll be creating by if function. We know that a logical test requires a comparison operator and it returns a true or false. But if we want to customize the result of the logical test, then we put it inside an if function. So I start by creating my if function by typing equal if. And then I hit the tab key. The screen tip of the function pops up. And in the screen tip I can see the first argument is a logical test. So what's your logical test? My logical test, from the perspective of this cell in which I'm creating my function, is to evaluate the total sales for the first employee. And these total sales come from cell 05. I would like to compare them to the sales goal in cell K1. So I'm wondering, is 05 greater than or equal then K1. Before I move to the next argument, I need to think what will happen to O5 and K1 when I copy my formula down. When I copy down, I'm moving across rows. So O5 will become O6, O7, O8. And that's fine because it will be picking up a different total. But I want always to be able to compare to sell K1, the same sales goal, so I don't want K1 to change, so I lock it by hitting F4. And then I hit comma to move to the next argument. And when I hit comma, the screen tip shows value if true. What does it mean, value if true? It means if the employee hits the target, what do you want to do? Well, if the employee hits the target, we need to give that employee a commission of 2% coming from cell P1. So I want to multiply O5 by P1, but I'm unable to select O5. So I could type O5 as a cell reference. Alternatively, I can select any cell from the cells around O5 and then use the arrow keys to move to O5. I'm selecting the cell below, and then I hit my up arrow to move to cell O5. Value if true equals O5 the total sales for this employee multiplied by the commission rate coming from cell P1. Like the previous situation, we don't want P1 to change, so I hit the F4 key to lock it. And then I hit comma. What would you like to do if the employee does not hit the target? In this case, for the value if false, I would like to deliver a message. A message is text. Text is typed in double quotation, so I type double quotes you need training, and don't forget to close the double quotation 
and close the bracket for the if function. And because I created my function while selecting a group of cells, then I can populate this function by hitting Control Enter. If you enjoyed this training video, like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in our next training video.